Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susin this side and today we are going to see about the schedule trigger. In the last video we have seen about the triggers and today we will be going to start with the one of the type of the trigger that is scheduled. So what is schedule trigger? So schedule trigger run the pipeline on the wall clock schedule. So what it means? So for example, we want to execute any pipeline on any specific period of time like we want to execute the pipeline on every day at 6 o'clock. So we can schedule that and that pipeline will be going to execute at 6 o'clock. Next, when we are going to create the schedule trigger, you specify a schedule. Like we have to specify the start date, like from which date the schedule will be going to start. So what is the recurrence? So recurrence is basically on what period we want to execute the pipeline again. So what that is the recurrence. And after that end date, like on what date we want to stop this trigger so that we can specify right there. So for the trigger and associated with the pipeline. So while we are going to create the trigger, after creating the trigger, we also need to associate that trigger with the pipeline. So that we will see in this video. After that, you can create the schedule trigger to a schedule a pipeline to the periodically. Like we can schedule the trigger on the hour basis, on the daily basis, on the monthly basis and other options as well. So that we will see. So go to on the browser and we'll see in the practical. So here, if you have remember, like we have created this pipeline and this pipeline is going to copy the data from Azure SQL from one table to another table. Now, for creating the trigger, either we can click on this add trigger and click on this new or edit or we can go in the manage tab and under the manage tab, we have this triggers under this author. So we can go under this trigger and click on this create trigger option. Now, here we can provide some name for the trigger. So this is for the scheduled trigger. So we can have this like scheduled trigger. We can also specify the description of that trigger. Then here we can see the type. So as we have already seen in the last video, we have four types of trigger, schedule trigger, tumbling window trigger, storage event and custom event. So we are going to create the trigger in this video with the schedule trigger. So we can select the first option. Now here we can see the start date. So this start date is indicating from what date we want to start the execution of this trigger so here as we can see 2 28 2022 so this time we can see it's 2 39 pm so we can set that like today we want to start the execution of this and the time so here this clock is 24 hours so 2 pm so it means 14 and after that 39 so we want to start the execution at 45 and the second that we can set as 00, 0. so it will be going to start execution from today and 2 45 pm and we can click on ok so this will be your start date and after that we have to select the time zone like i am in the india time zone you might have in the another time zones so accordingly we can select this time zone so I am going to select for India time zone that is UTC plus 530 and after that here we can see the recurrence. So on every 15 minute we want to execute or we are also having the other options like we have the hour basis. So on every 15 hours or only one hour we can execute this so that we can select and while we are going to set the days and week. So let me go in the days. So here we can see this days. So go to on the week. So in case of week, here we can select the days on what days we want to execute this. Like we want to execute Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We don't want to execute the trigger on Saturday and Sunday. So we can select those. Let me unselect all these. And the last option that is the month. So in the month days, we can see here, we can select the days by which we want to execute the trigger. The second option that we can see the weekday. So on the weekday here, we can add the 
new recurrence so that i am not going to add i am going to select the first option on every 15 minute we want to execute this trigger now here we can see the option to specify an end date so if we want to specify any end date so from that date this trigger will be going to expire so i am going to expire this trigger by tomorrow and we can specify any time and click on ok so this trigger will be going to expire by tomorrow and after that we can see here we have a start trigger so let me click on this start trigger on creation so while we are going to create this trigger it will be started let me click on ok so your trigger will be ready it will take a little bit time so here we can see this trigger is created and here we can see the option like in the related we have zero this is because this trigger is not associated with any pipeline so go to on the author tab and inside the author tab under this copy details we can go under this add trigger and click on new or edit so in the choose trigger we can see the option for the new or the trigger which we have created right now so let me select this one let me click on ok let me save this so this is done now we have to publish this change so we can click on the publish so after that we have to click on ok here so the change only the trigger that we have added so it should be deployed soon so here we can see published completed so we can see it's 243 so let me pause this video and will back in two minutes so now we can go in the monitor tab and we'll see the execution so here under the pipeline runs we can see the first option and it got executed at 245 and this is executed just now the trigger that we have created and here it is succeed that we can see or we can go in the trigger runs and under the trigger runs here we can see so here the execution by using the triggers so those are available here now go to on the minus tab again and under that trigger here under the related we can see one so we have related this trigger with one of the pipeline and we can check the pipeline name here let me click on this so this is the pipeline name by which we have related this trigger so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video